What's up everybody, it's AJ with eTrailer.com. Today we're gonna to be checking out the WeatherTech wind deflectors for the front and the back of a 2018 Chevrolet Silverado 1500. These wind deflectors are gonna be a nice addition to your Silverado. Not only do they add a cool look to it, but they're also functional as in, you know, if it's a rainy day, I don't know about you, I don't like driving around with the windows up all the time. I like them to have cracks just a little bit to have some kind of wind flow. So if it's rainy or snowy or the weather is not cooperating, you can bring the window down just a little bit and don't have to worry about those elements coming inside. One good thing about these are they're not like the old style where you would stick them out to the outside of your truck. These are custom fit for your Silverado. They go up into the groove of the weather strip on the inside of your window. So there's not gonna be any tape residue on the outside of your vehicle. Now I said they go in the weather strip here in your windows, just wanna prove you they don't get in the way of that at all. I'll just go ahead and roll them up and show you. They're right in line. There's not gonna be any issues with that. This kit's gonna come with both of them for the front and the rear. Now, if you wanna get them separate, you could buy just the front separate or just the rear separate. They aren't that bad to install. It just takes a little bit of patience. Just follow along with us and see how we did it. To install our first wind deflector, we're gonna make sure the window's down already at the front. Make sure your window's also clean. We already did that. So we're gonna try and just work in the corners first. Start here at the edge. See how it feeds in like that. And they recommend you bow it just a little bit to try and get it started here. It'll go in the corner just like that. And you can start to work it in from there. So you know, put the two corners in first and then you kind of work it in from there. It's okay to bow it just a little bit. It will bend and slide in the track just like that. With it in place, it's okay to just pull back on it a little bit. You're kind of just pulling it out. You're not sliding it out, but you're bending it out that way just so when you go to roll the window up, it doesn't make contact. Another thing, they give you a specialty tool that they want you to run up into the channel just to kind of help it push it in place. So we're just gonna run that up through there. And you might hear a snap or something like that as it pushes a little further into place. I just kind of push up on it while I have that tool in there just to maybe get up a little further up in that seal. But it seems like it's seated in there pretty well. So I think we're ready to roll up the windows. Now we're gonna roll the window up all the way five times. So just slowly roll it up there and you might hear it push it into place and that's fine. Just make sure it doesn't make contact with it. I think we'll be all right. Let's give it a shot. Now the instructions tell you just to go ahead and leave your window up for about 12 hours. It just kind of helps hold it up into place and keeps it there. Installing our back one is gonna be a little bit different. We have clips that we have to install first. So they give you the tool to reach up in there and pull down your weather strip. Now I'm gonna pull it all the way down to show you where it goes. We have one clip installed already. So pulling this down kind of gets out of the way actually go up above this ridge, not this one. So you gotta go up and in there. You can see we've already got one clip installed at the top of there. They recommend that you go three inches from there and we're gonna go four inches from here. So we'll come back down to here. And that's where we're gonna put our clip. So when you go to install the clip, you want the side that kind of flares out to face outward. Turn, get it up and in there like that. I'll come back with this tool and that'll help me push it up into place. Right about there. So make sure you look at your back wind deflector here and you wanna match up this side with here. And you can see this one's a little bit more rounded so it's gonna match this part of the window frame there. An easy way to do this is you can just put it in like that. You see this part's in and you can slide it down. Now both sides are in, you don't have to bow it out or anything like that. Then you can 
tilt it back just a little bit to go up and above those clamps because you want to slide this part up in that part. So I kind of got it up there and just kind of tilt it in and slide it into place. Just like that. Using the tool they gave you to kind of push up on this part, I'm going to do the same thing. Just watch out for the clip. I'm just going to try and just push up just a little bit more before we roll up the windows. It looks like it's pretty well seated in there. And just like the front, we're going to go up and down five times. Looks good. Now you can repeat that same process on the other side. Overall, not that bad of an install. It can be a little intimidating because they are pieces of plastic. You don't want to bend or break them, but it's okay to bend just a little bit, especially on the front ones to install. And once you get them in there, they go right into place. We didn't have many troubles after that. I think it makes your truck stand out, look a little bit cooler too, and it's functional. You have to worry about the rain coming in the window if your window is down. Well, I think that about does it. Thanks for hanging out, and I hope this helped.